Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 28 of my Ultimate Python 3 tutorial series. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to continue learning about regular expressions. Specifically, we're going to learn how to match any character, white space, numbers, one or more items, and on top of that, we'll learn how to tell if an email address is legitimate or not. So I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. All right, so don't forget to import the regular expression module, and now I'm going to show you how to match any character. Now we saw that dot is going to match any character or space, but what if we want to match a period? Well, we just backslash that period. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say random string is equal to, and I'm going to say f b i, and I'm going to say i r s. In the United States, these are the people that you do not want to make mad at you. But I'm going to mess up CIA on purpose here. So hopefully they don't hold it against me. And I'm going to see how many matches I have for these using length, which is going to give me the number of the result. So I'm going to say find all. And I am going to say here that I want to match for anything with periods. So I'm going to say match for any number. And then I'm going to put a backslash followed by a dot and then match any letter or whatever and then put another backslash and then two more dots. And I'm going to perform this search using our random string and you see that we got two. Why? Because CIA doesn't have the dots inside of it. So that is how we can match for any character but also at the same time match for multiple different periods. And now I'm going to show you how to match for white space. So I'm just going to go to the random string as well here. And I'm going to add in a multi-line string. So I'm going to say this is a long, go down to the next line, string that goes, go to the next line, on for many lines. Now I'm going to say print random string. And here what I want to do is remove my new lines. So I'm going to say regular expression is equal to re compile and throw the new lines inside of quotes. And now I can say random string is equal to regular expression substitute spaces. Make sure you put a space inside of there. Random string. And then I can come in and say print random string. So you're going to see the two versions of random string. One that goes over many different lines and then the other one that does not. All right, so there's how we can match some white space. And you're also going to be able to match for backspaces as well as form feeds and carriage returns and tabs and vertical tabs. And another thing to look out for is sometimes you're going to need to go and match for these two guys on Windows. All right, so now let's go and let's learn some more where I'm going to teach you how to match for any single number. So we're going to come in here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five and close that off. And basically if you want to match for numbers, backslash D is going to be the same as 0 through 9, which is basically all digits, while backspace uppercase D is going to match for this old carroted version. If you saw the last part of the tutorial, that's saying match for anything except those numbers. So I can come in here and say how many matches do we have, and regular expression, and find all, and backslash D and then follow that up with our random string, run it, and you can see we matched for every single one of those numbers. What happens if we would want to search and match for multiple different numbers? Well, I'm going to keep everything the same with our random string. However, I'm going to say if re search and inside of here where I define my regular expression, I'm going to say that I want to match four numbers, but I want to match four five of them. 
and I'll throw my random string inside of there. And I could do something like print it is a zip code, which is going to require five numbers. And you can see it is a zip code comes back as a result. Another thing you're going to be able to do is match within a range. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let's say I would like to, I'm going to say, I just want to print out the number of matches I have here. So I'm going to say print matches, and then length, regular expression, find all. And I'm going to say that it's, I am going to consider it a match if I have 5 to seven digits in a row. And I'm going to perform this with my random string once again. And in this situation, you see that I come back with three. And why is that? Well, because it's not picking this guy because it's not five or seven digits long. All right, so good stuff. And now what I want to do is show you how to match for any single letter or number. So basically, just like we had D is going to match digits, W is going to match for lowercase a through z, uppercase a through z, as well as the digits 0 through 9. So I'm going to show you an example. And also, uppercase W is basically going to match anything that isn't a letter or a number. So I'm going to say phone number is equal to 412-555-1212. And I, what I want to do is to create a regular expression that is going to check if this is a phone number or not. So I'm going to say RE search. And then I'm just going to basically walk through it. So I'm going to say any letter or number of three digits in length followed with a dash. Again, any letter or number three, di three in length followed with a dash. Do it again. And this time we will do four jump out of here and go and check our phone number and then if that matches I know it's a phone number and run it and you can see that yes indeed it does match for our telephone number we could also do things like check for a valid first name between 2 and 20 characters so let's just go in there and get rid of that and we'll say it's valid if it's 2 to 20 in length. And I'm going to come in here and just say Ultraman for an example. And then I could come in and say it is a valid name. So is Ultraman a valid name? Yes, indeed it is. All right, so good stuff. So we've covered matching letters and numbers and such. And now I'm going to show you how to match for white space. All right, so this is going to be backslash s. And that's basically going to match for form feeds and new lines, carriage returns, tabs, vertical tabs, and more. And, of course, uppercase version of it is going to match for anything that is not one of those things. So I'm going to say, if re search, and here I'm going to use a name, and I'm going to say that I want to match for letters or numbers, 2 to 20 in length. Again, I'm going to check for a valid name. Then I want to say that we have a space followed by a letter or number that is 2 to 20 characters. And then I can come in and throw a word in here. Toshio Muramatsu. And then if it's a valid name, I can say it is a valid name run it and you can see it's a valid name. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to match for one or more. This is another cool little trick. That if you want to match for one or more characters, just use a plus. And yes, indeed, all of these are going to be in your quiz that is included with this video. So here I'm going to say print and matches. Follow that up with length R E find all and I'm going to say one or more A's. 
is what I'm specifically looking for. So put a plus after that and then follow that up with a as ape and bug. So we're specifically looking for the letter A followed by one or more of anything after it. And if we run it, you're going to see that we get three. Why do we get three? Because we have A followed by a space, AS again with that, ape, and then we have bug, which of course does not match. All right, and now that I covered all of that, it is now time for you to try to solve a problem. All right, so this is basically what you need to do. It is going to be considered a legitimate email address. If the email address has 1 to 20 lowercase and uppercase letters, numbers, plus signs, or any of these other additional characters, all of those are going to be legit. The email address then must be followed with a NAT symbol. Then it will have 2 to 20 lowercase or uppercase letters, plus numbers, as well as periods and dashes. Then you're going to have a period, and then that's finally going to end with two to three lowercase and uppercase letters. And this is going to be specifically what you are going to be searching through. There's your email list. So look at those and decide which of them is going to be valid. And you can pause your screen and try to solve that problem. Otherwise, I'm gonna solve it right now. Okay, so here is our email, and what I'm going to do is say print email matches, and I'm just going to list how many of them match our requirements. So I'm going to go length, re, find all, and then I'm going to say that I want, inside of brackets, letters or numbers, followed by periods, underscores, percent signs, plus or minus, and like I said, there's going to be 1 to 20 of those, then followed by an at symbol. After we have that inside of brackets, I'm going to list the other things we're going to requ require. Letters or numbers, period, and dashes, and how many did I say uh, was of those? 2 to 20, as you can see right here, 2 to 20. So I will say 2, 20 inside of curly brackets and then we're going to have a period and then we're going to have uppercase letters any of them is going to be all right lowercase letters and how many did i say we were going to require of that from two to three would be considered legitimate i'm then going to show that i want to search my email list for all of those matches and then see how many we matched four. And if I run it, you're going to see we matched for exactly one. And the one we matched for is this one right here. All the other ones didn't meet our requirements. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And in the next part of the tutorial, we're going to continue towards our path to become regular expression experts. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.